What is up y'all? Welcome to the channel. So if you're here today, you're probably in a predicament and this predicament is this son of a gun right here. These things, uh, just a horrible design. They get stuck no matter what, no matter where you're at, no matter what climate you live in, they just get stuck. Um, I, I don't know if this is aluminum or what the heck it is. I've done a couple of them every single time. They're a pain to get off. So I'm gonna show you basically how I do it. Um, it involves just destroying this whole thing, but hey, you've got a new one. So um, that's all that matters. You're gonna need a couple tools, couple pry bars, a 12 that goes here, a 22 that goes here. I'm sure you already know that. And just remove this plug and then I'll show you where we're gonna start. So what you're gonna wanna do is take something like this and a hammer and knock these off here. So just take them and they, they come off slightly easily. But if you knock those off, that's gonna help the whole process um, just go a little smoother. So go ahead and get those knocked off. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this hot a little bit. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna get the back plastic piece of this sensor hot and it's just gonna fry right off. Let me show you. All right, so as you can see, she's pretty hot. So I'm gonna take this, now I'm gonna like pry it off. Just kinda gotta work it a little bit. But, it should come off here in a second. Just don't pry too hard. And then you should be able to just pry it off like that. And now that this is out of the way, make sure to get this plastic tab off and then anything else plastic. Because if this doesn't come off, probably gonna have to heat it. Have to heat it one more time. So get all the plastic off and um, that'll be the last step. Okay, so I don't think I'm gonna have to heat it. What I do is I use this bolt here. Yes, it's uh, kind of screwing it up a little bit, but hopefully that bolt never has to come out. So if you have a long enough bar, what you can do is you can get behind this right here and then Take your hammer, hit your hammer here, or, or just pry it. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Pain in the butt. But after you do so many, you know, you get used to it. So, anyways, um, obviously I'm going to suggest cleaning this up. Um, clean it up really good, take your wire wheel use some anti-seize, grease, all that stuff. Put it on there. Um, yeah, don't judge me. I did mess up that bolt, but um, I don't think it's gonna be too big of an issue. But yes, sir, we got that off. Let me show you the part. So that's the part number, Toyota only. This is the part. So when you go to install it, the vehicle needs to be a neutral and it needs to be lined up with that. That's how it's going to go on. This is neutral here. Line it up, tighten it up till it stops. I don't think you need to torque it and you should be good. So, yep. I hope this video helped you guys out. Have a good one.